Today I'm showing you how you can increase your productivity with journaling. My name is Kath Kyle from kathkyle.com and I help entrepreneurs to earn more, work less and have more fun in the process. And right now I'm focused a lot on goal setting. So if this subject interests you and a lot of mindset stuff for entrepreneurs, then I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. So let's get going. Here are over 100 journal prompts for productivity to supercharge your day. These journal writing prompts will help you write your way to success in business by changing your mindset and getting more done in less time. Some of the most successful people I know have an interesting way to exercise the right mindset towards work by spending time using journal prompts to increase their productivity. Unknown to the majority of entrepreneurs, especially the budding startups, there's more to journaling than just jotting down the to-do list and organising work schedules. In a nutshell, journaling your thoughts helps you reflect on things, particularly those that concern your work ethics and business practices. By contemplating the past performances and new milestones achieved, you can unlock the grounding influences of journaling that helps you function better without increasing your working hours. To help you get started, here's a list of over 100 plus prompts that I have accumulated over time that I am now sharing with you. Here they are. 1. What does productivity look like to you? 2. What gives you an impression of a productive day? 3. Which office items help you to get the most tasks done in less time? 4. Do you see yourself doing away with micromanaging your team? 5. Which apps are you using to help you track work progress? 6. How does your routine affect your business performance? 7. What kind of productivity do you prefer? Quantity or quality? How do you achieve a perfect balance? 8. When was the last time that you stressed out because of the piling workload? How did you cope? 9. Are you open to delegating tasks to your team? 10. Which tasks need your direct supervision and why? 11. Which tasks are routinely performed? 12. Which tasks take most of your time and why? 13. What do you do whenever you feel unmotivated? 14. What is your top priority for this workday? 15. When was the last time that you felt pressured by a looming deadline? 16. Which organisational skills do you find easy to cultivate? 17. What kind of tasks do you hate the most? 18. What are the top three distractions at your work? 19. What are the tools you use to track business flow? 20. When was the last time you missed a deadline? 21. How do you deal with last minute changes? 22. How did you perform last quarter? 23. Name five people who inspired you to work smart. 24. Reflect on an obstacle you hurdled today. 25. Do you function better with coffee? 26. How do you set your goals? 27. Which tasks make you procrastinate? 28. Which tasks could wait until a later time? 29. What could be the reason why you're prone to procrastination? How do you plan to change it? 30. Do you have to be online most of the time? 31. Which social media apps are eating up your time? 32. Reflect on a time you missed a deadline and ended up failing to achieve a quota. How do you intend to improve business results? 33. Do you work well with a team assisting you? 34. Reflect on a time you postponed a meeting due to a conflict or of a schedule. What can you learn from it? 35. How does client feedback affect your work or your business performance? 36. When was the last time you spent an important family event together? 
37. How does it feel to accomplish more in less time? 38. How does it feel to have more time for family? 39. Do you prefer online or email correspondence? 40. How do you allot time for each of your tasks? 41. How often do you need to brainstorm with your team? 42. When was the last time you delivered on a task on a delayed schedule? 43. What do you think makes you more productive than the rest of the entrepreneurs in your niche? 44. What convinces you to work smart instead of hard? 45. Is there any particular technology that makes your work a lot easier? 46. How would you respond to an urgent task or client call? 47. Do you experience muscle pains or over fatigue due to overwork? 48. What doctor's advice do you follow with regard to your work routine? 49. If you had five minutes to spare, which task would you tackle first thing in the morning? 50. What do you want the new generation of entrepreneurs to learn from your business practices? 51. What kind of music sets your mood for work? 52. Does the ambience of your office affect your work, disposition and productivity levels? 53. If you could slash one routine from your daily grind, what would it be? 54. Would you be more productive if you do your tasks at home? 55. What exactly do you want to accomplish this month? 56. Do you still have free time outside of work? 57. How would you like to spend your day off? 58. How can you minimise distractions at work? 59. Do you work better under time pressure? 60. Do you perform better if the working hours are flexible? 61. Do you strive for perfection or do you prefer accept acceptable? 62. Why are you spending most of your time on a particular task? 63. How does the lighting in your office affect your mood? 64. Do you feel pressured to top your recent achievement? 65. Do you feel uncertain about a task? 66. How do you handle failures at work? 67. Do you start from a template or from scratch? 68. Which habits negatively affect your productivity? 69. Do you tend to maximise your time at work? 70. Do you react negatively towards urgent matters? 71. Are you satisfied with your previous performance or do you want to outdo it? 72. Do you enjoy what you do for a living? 73. What drives you to perform better at your business? 74. What are your biggest inspirations for working hard? 75. Do you adhere to schedule to the dot or do you prefer to adjust it whenever possible? 76. What can you do to avoid piling workload? 77. Have you talked with somebody about cost efficient equipment? 78. Do you work better at different times of the day? 79. What are the things that remind you to slow down once in a while? 80. Have you experienced being overworked that you ended up, ended up calling in sick? 81. What are your thoughts about outsourcing tasks? 82. Who do you need to be productive for? 83. Do you use anti-stress toys at work? 84. How do you invigorate your mind at work? 85. What are the hobbies you used to enjoy after work? 86. Do you feel the need to outperform your competitors? 87. Are you a multitasker or a focused worker? 88. How much do you spend on others to get the work done? 89. How do you deal with long-term routines? 
90. Why did you build on your, your own business in the first place? 91. What prevents you from achieving your top performance? 92. Which items in your office need to be upgraded for better productivity? 93. What did you learn from your recent work blunders? 94. How much money do you want to make in less time? 95. Are you comfortable with getting a business partner to help you with certain tasks? 96. Describe a typical work week for you. Which tasks do you think can be done more efficiently? 97. What triggers your motivation at work? 98. What do you want to accomplish if you were only given 5 hours a day? 99. How does an office renovation sound to you? Would it improve your productivity? 100. When are you most productive? In the morning or late in the evening? 101. What do you want to achieve out of a particular routine task? 102. If you could trade procrastination with one of your key work assets, what would it be? 103. Do you have a fear of underperforming? 104. How fulfil fulfilled have you been from a recent task that you've accomplished? 105. If you could do things differently, how would you start? 106. If you had one remaining task that took most of your time, how would you tackle it? So here are the next steps. So now that you've got all the journal prompts that I've given you for productivity, you might be looking for the right tools in your online business to achieve success. So I've got a free gift for you that will give you all the tools that I used to create a six figure business. And I'm giving them all to you in my ultimate passive income toolkit. So you can either get that underneath the video or you can go to the blog post to get all the journal prompts and the passive income toolkit. So in conclusion, indeed, these thought provoking journal prompts will have you reflecting on your work performance to reassess your options for increasing productivity in your business. They serve as your guides for when you decide to work smart instead of hustling all day long. Since there's more to life than just being successful in business, I hope this list of journal prompts for productivity will inspire you to come up with ideas on how to work efficiently and make time for what truly matters in your life and your business. And if you like these journal prompts, I have many more that you would also love. So check those out on my blog or my YouTube channel. And if you like videos about mindset for entrepreneurs, then I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell. Take care. See you soon.